Hi, how are you guys? So good, how are you? Yeah. I'm I'm good. I'm happy to be here. I'm hyped. Let's go. Uh, Let's go. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, my first question would be, how did you all feel when you found out you were gonna appear in the show? Like the minute you found out, how did you feel? I think I blacked out. Like I, I think I actually yeah. cried because I was I was it was in a moment where I was kind of you know I was still in that valley of COVID and this was sort of like the the thing that yeah. that so it was good. like really that turning point and I it, I think it was so much emotion built up over the last year and a half and I was just like wow and and also to be doing this mm. specific thing is is a dream come true for sure yeah I mean it's the same I think I like. I always wanted to play a character like Liam and I felt like uh, over the years I got close to opportunities to play his type of archetype and and I was never officially passed through and then the Wibberleys and and Jerry and Disney and everyone mm. when we finally got that call and like you're right you're our guy it was just kind of a confirmation that I am capable of playing a role I love so much and uh, yeah yeah it was yeah true true yeah I mean the role for me is um, something that I really wanted um it, it was just so natural to me and um you know you, you it, when it is a role like that and it just fits so perfectly you really want it and so when when I got the news I it really did feel different to the other ones for some reason I think it was just uh yeah like Chip mm. said coming out of uh, COVID and I didn't like work for two years before that so it was actually like it was very emotional for me mm. yeah I'm, I'm so glad. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I'm sure that's more to come for all of you. You guys are great. And speaking of that note, I wanted to ask, what is your favorite fact about your characters? Fact. I, I, I really love, and we don't touch on it too much throughout the show, but I really do love that he is a sneakerhead. You know, like it, 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 uh, create, it, it had me researching this whole like $2 billion industry. Of, of sneaker resale platforms, right? Like it was a whole thing that that I got to dive into in, in researching and, and developing the character. And it, it was, you know, you always want to learn something new when you're when you're taking on another character. And obviously you're learning all of this history, of course, but but about this specific character, that was really cool to play with for sure. Yeah, I I, I think uh, you know, just being able to honor the Sadusky name and like, you know, being the grandson of Peter Sadusky, Harvey Keitel, who played the lead FBI agent in the first two movies. And um, going into the series with that sort of lineage behind my character was uh, such an insanely exciting, uh, exciting jumping off point. Uh, and that's, that's literally one of the coolest things I, I love about Liam, even though his character is reluctant to his family's ancestry. I, I personally, as Jake loved it. But <laughs> Um, for Ethan, I, I think he is, um, oh man, I just love his loyalty to Jess. I think that is a, a trait that I, I love about people and I love about, uh, my friends and, um, to portray that on, on screen was, was an honor. It's nice. Perfect. Well, Jess is lucky to have your characters. I was lucky to do this interview guys. Thank you for this. This was oh, lovely yeah, and amazing. Man. I Thank wish you, you the best day you can have today. Go have fun. Hey, <laughs> you too, buddy. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. See ya.